The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. On this Wednesday, the 13th of November, uh, let me just show you this black background chart right now. I, I discussed this in, in great detail with my uh, subscribers a couple of times now, actually over the last, uh, I'd say the last more intensively over the last four to five weeks. And one of the reasons is the information on this black, brown, black background uh, chart, it's a daily chart of the Dow. All I need to look at is this green or pink line here. That is the nine period exponential moving average. When it goes over the 14, it becomes green. When it goes under the 14, it becomes pink. That's number one. Secondly, Look at these vertical lines. Can you see? Yeah, you can see them perfectly in the uh, Tiger YouTube. You see the down arrows corresponding to the tops. And that occurred when the MACD, the nine period differentials, no, no, nine period moving averages, nine period differentials made up of two moving averages. Uh, and you've got the 26 period exponential moving average in red. When it went to the top of this line, that's where the market invariably pulled back. But to coincide with that, look at this uh, white, thick white trend line across here, this horizontal line. Every time the stochastic went to that line, that was when you had, it was like a warning that you got to be careful. Well, look what happened. Um, I pointed this out in my video. I do about an hour, a little bit longer video for the weekend, every week to discuss positions we have, what we're looking at in the market, et cetera. And I said, this here is indicating to me with a stochastic under, under at this particular point, I'll give you the exact number, it went down to uh, about 11%. But the yellow line went actually to the single digits. And that just said to me that this turn could be a turn of significance to the upside for the Dow, which is one of the reasons why we've been adding to the long positions in various of our, uh, 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 our portfolio. Within that context, we've been long for a very long time, This the Dow, aggressively long. Did I want to add to that? Well, tomorrow in my webinar, I'm going to be discussing what we want to add to, what, we, what we've missed, how we're going to get into the positions we've missed, We've got fabulous positions, positions that have done really well. Um, it's, a, it's a great portfolio as it stands right now for this particular phase of the market. I do want to add, but I do want to get new positions. That's number one. But look, this is telling me that it ran all the way from the low to almost touching the high. And this yellow line in the MACD went to a top and it says you've got to be a little careful here and the, and now I can go to the real chart let me just get out of this and I can go to something else that I wanted to talk about which is right here um, and that is are we looking at a leg F an old leg F because that was the E and it, it could be an extension because this pullback didn't take out the low that started the brand new buy signal to buy mode back in September. Or is this an, a brand new peak A? A peak A says every single dip you need to buy. An F says, uh oh, be careful because this could be a serious top. Now, to go with that top, I'm going to take a little time out now just because these are things I want to discuss. Um, in my webinar t tomorrow, but I don't want to take too much time in that. I want to be looking at stocks that we would like to be purchasing or ETFs um, and the technicals. I've done so many webinars. New subscribers will be able to. I'll, I'll stop for a moment to talk about the technicals and then give them the addendum as to where they can go to follow up on that. But look at this. This is my dark news, Chapman Wave Dark News Index. It usually it's based for decades has been based more on the yields, bond yields. But at least for the last, um, I'd say, six months, that's really not been the case. 
because the yields have been higher and the market's ignored it. There's other things. So it said to me that using the high that was made back in March 2024, going to the high that was made July the 18th, um, I've got an exact time sequence that says from the high of the 18th of July to the high of the 11th of November is that exact time sequence. And it said, be a little careful because that's where you might be making some kind of a top. Well, I'm looking at this, and I remember I mentioned, I've shown this before, I mentioned that this line is here only because I had to put it higher, otherwise it would have gone straight into the price. It would have been difficult to see. Well, it turns out that we went above this line, but I'm going to now move this line a little higher to say this, is, this has got nothing to do with height. This has only to do with time, and that's the time. And what did we do? We just made a high. Three days ago, three sessions ago, yeah, at, uh, right there at 42,486. And now we're putting back. So I have to have a little, I have to have a little bit, put the brakes on just a tad to say, all right, let's just give it a moment to see how it plays out. At the same time, there are so many things that say to me, I, yeah, Mr., you, you're missing the boat if you're going to be technically tied like that. Rather look at your usual indicators. So what do I need to have a buy signal uh, that gets elevated to a buy mode? It hardly ever happens in a leg A. It's usually when A gets passed for a new leg B. Then I can say, okay, we've got a buy signal, and the buy signal is going to be upgraded to a buy mode. Well, the, the price is way above the nine-period moving average in the daily. This is the daily on the left, weekly in the middle monthly on the right. Um, the price is way over the nine. The nine is way over the 14. For the nine period moving average to go to a sell signal, possibly a sell mode upgrade, I would have to see the Dow probably at 42,600 down here for, to get that green line to go across pink. So, so far, that's not an issue at all. Short term, yes, it is. But on the near term, I should say, not even short term, just near term, a daily on a daily chart. The MACD has expanded the histogram to dates not, but it's been rising. The histogram, that's the distance between the nine period moving average differential in the MACD and the slow moving average, the 26 period moving average. That is still expanding. To get that to cross negative, you'd have to see that same 42,600. The stochastic is flat at 88%. It was at 92, I think, yesterday, and now it's at 88. That's still very strong. The one clue that says, all right, just be a little careful here, is that the on-balance volume is lagging, but actually lagging at this point is good because it's not over overbought. And you see this little gray line here, the relative strength index, that has pulled back, but you can see from the left side, this is at highs. So that's the confirmation, relative strength is good. That's the daily. What about the weekly? Well, I don't want to go through the whole thing. The weekly has exactly everything the same. Everything here is very, very strong. And the monthly chart is very strong. And that just says to me, there's a chance if we can see that a bulk of the, of the rally from 41,600 to 43,400 has been done. And that now it's going to be a little more difficult, but we could still go to the obligation, the temporary methodologies. If you go from a buy signal, to a buy mode, we haven't been upgraded yet. It can go to four higher peaks PD. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, right, folks, we're back. All right, enough of the Dow. Let's just go on. Uh, and I'll do the others. Let me just do that again. So S&P, look, the same thing applies to SS dollar SPX. Why is it not clicking? Okay, there it is. Okay, SP, SPX dot X. Uh, same thing applies. Is this an, an E or an A? I'm just putting E slash A. I'm going to give it just a. I need another high and then a, a higher high, and that says to me, okay, that's much clearer. It is at this point. I believe it's an A. Everything here is taken. Look, 93% stochastic. That's fantastic. Uh, leg D in the uh, weekly chart. Leg F in the monthly chart. All of this is very positive. Let's go to the QQQ. It's a little different here in the sense that it's only a leg C in the weekly chart and it should still go to a leg D. So you get a pullback and then a new high in 2024. That's the way it's looking right now. And the monthly chart leg D finally got to that leg D. And here again, is this an F or is this, I'm going to put F slash A. Uh, so far, I'm, my leaning is that this is all very positive. Um, and let's go to the IWM. So the IWM is trading up $1.46. It's one of the better. Look, it's up 0.63%. The Dow is up 0.08%. The S&P is down 0.11%. And the QQQ is down 0.38, I believe, percent. So the strongest is the IWM. We've been long since the, uh, the low 196.50 was the low back in August the 5th. The very next day we went long. We've added to the long and we've taken little bits off. We've uh, got out of a, a, a aggressive long position. And then yesterday we added a position uh, on the dip. And so far it's doing okay. The day is young. Let's just say that I felt strongly that that was the opportunity and if it gets stopped out, it gets stopped out, small percentage loss. But it, that was the opportunity to add to this position. I'm not sure if that's going to work out yet because <clears throat> the day is young. Haven't even been trading an hour into this session. But so far, it's been quite good. So now let me go to different areas. The SMHs, that's the one. And I, I, I've been talking about this for many, many years, I've been saying. The SMHs lead markets up, the lead markets down. When they are stalling, it says that just be careful that at some point fairly soon, it doesn't give you a time. If that's the case, that's a divergence that says the general market should pull back at some point quite sharply. Um, 
sharply, meaning uh, this is shorter term. I don't know about the longer term. We just have to go one step at a time. But be prepared for that. That means that's why for me, I'm looking at this as chances. This this is an A move to the upside, a pullback, and then we will start a move that takes us not that much higher to uh, all-time highs. The, the uh, IWM will get to an all-time high, and that's kind of where we have to be really careful from that moment on. And that would coincide with buy the rumor, sell the news. In other words, uh, this whole panoply of ideas and everything that's going on in the new uh, Trump administration, uh, you got two months to go. You know, two months in the market. It's like a whole. Uh, you can have two cycles in the in the market of up and down moves. So all I'm saying is that this is the scenario I'm looking at. All right, now let's go on because we want to go to high grade copper. High grade copper just looks horrible. It's right at the 200 period moving average once again in the weekly chart at 4.08. This is a worry for me because this is a very select rally. It's broadening broadening out only, I mean, I have in my screamer list, which are stocks under $10, this, uh, I have a list here that over the last two weeks, I've just never seen anything like it. I must have 70 that I've written down and I try to follow them. I'm trying to look because I'd like for the, for the webinar tomorrow, I'd like to include, it's fun to have, we've got some much greater uh, price points in stocks at this particular stage, I would like to have one or two at least more in the single digits. It's just fun to have. And the percentage gain or loss, is, a, is it's very nice when it moves. I mean, we had one yesterday that had earnings. Uh, we we had two positions in this. We took out profits on one, and we uh, have still have a, a core position, Genius Sports Limited. I guess it came out with earnings. They were favorable. We got it in the the last time we got it was in the mid sixes, and here it is at 9.81. That's a that's a, that's a, just a very very nice gain. We've got another one in an area also that I think is is going to remain quite dominant, and that's Robin Hood. Uh, we got it in the 16s. It's now 33. Um, I think that's because of Bitcoin. And look at Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is making new all time highs. And our Bitcoin entry that we had recently is doing extremely well. Um, and this is only a leg C in the weekly chart. That year, there should be a pullback, and there's always an obligation of going to a D in a buy mode, which this is in. So there should be a pullback and then a higher high in 2024. And then I think we've got to be somewhat careful again uh, with Bitcoin. But in the meantime, it's acting very well. So let's go back uh, to what we were looking at. We're looking at gold. Uh, gold is trading down to at 2604 I, I think this is it for gold in this particular phase remember I like to look at I like to look at companionship I like to look at the way uh, gold would run up and silver would be kind of hanging around and say oh my god silver's taken off I gotta chase it and then silver would rally then gold would take a breather then gold would rally and so and finally they both go up together and that's it for a while and that's it so this is the relationship that I've been talking about with the XLF that's the, the heavy money center banks and select financial spider fund doing so well. We have Bank of America, which has done extremely well in that sector. But I see all I've been talking about this for ages. KRE, the regional banks, you want to see the regional banks do well. They, that's mom and pop stores with a couple of billion, of course, because these are American regional banks. This is not European uh, where... The sides is yeah in the United States are always way higher than anywhere else. So regional banks can also be pretty costly. But in fact, these are the smaller banks, the town, the city, the, your your local banks. I want to see them moving up, and they've done very. We have two positions in KRE, uh, doing quite nicely. Now, what we really want to look at is the relationship of the S and P 500 to the small caps, and the relationship of the XLF, the big cap. Um, uh, banks or financial uh, sector going to the small caps. That's the KRE. Well, if you're looking at the um, if you're looking at the S and P and the relationship of the S and P. Look, the S and P all time high just a few days ago. But wait a minute, the IWM, the Russell 2000, the catch up. This is what I was talking about. That kind of uh, you go, I go, you go, I go. That that's what we're looking at here in the IWM. So I'm anticipating that IWM might be stalling right here for a moment, 
But I do think it's going to hit the 244.46 all-time high from November of 2021. It's trading right now at 239. Yeah, it's not far to, far to go. Five points. Uh, it could do that. Uh, five, yeah, five points. Okay. With that said, I wanted to look at GDX because people ask me about GDX. Yeah, GDX is sitting on the 200 period exponential moving average. This is where it should find support. Peak G in the daily chart, peak D in the weekly chart, peak D, or well, leg D. I have to wait for the whole of November to complete, but uh, leg D. Uh, pulling back from the 44s down to 34 right now. Oh, 36. It did it three. Uh, 34 is the 14 period exponential moving average in the monthly chart. Okay, with that said, silver, just as we go to the break, we're going to do silver. Silver is down nine cents. Yeah, the 200 period moving average of 29.6. That's kind of a target for me, and then we'll see how that holds. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Dow's at 52. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstak's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. I got asked a question about 
This is not my area of expertise at all, but it, it's something I've followed for years. And the question is, if the Fed is lowering rates, why are the rates higher? Because the one is um, a rate that the Fed uh, wants to have as some kind of a benchmark for them. The other is the real active rate of demand and supply. And that's what we're looking at. So they can differ. And the tenure is very aware. The T, this is the TNX, TNX.X. Look, the tenure right now is it made a little top four days ago. And the GCSC went to a leg D, you know, that's what we're always looking at. And then it came to a peak D. Uh, so it's much higher. It's, this is, if you look at the monthly chart that I'm showing right here, the tenure T note, uh, this is the yield. That was this horizontal area at about 36 ish. Uh, that's what I said. You've been there many times before. What's happening is that this is the first time that it's really a base of support so that the yield goes up. So think of them um, as what one would want and what is active. That's all. Just think of them as two. One is active in terms of pragmatically. It is what is the demand and supply right now says that, yep, uh, people want a uh, loan, so they, they're prepared to buy a higher price. That's good. They don't want to, but they, they are prepared to, and that's what they're looking at. And what the Fed wants is something separate. So I just wanted to try to cover that. It's not exactly 100%, but it's very close to what I believe is, is would be the answer. Now, the next question came in, FXI, that is um, that is. China, ISIS, large cap. Remember, I said this is like the dreaded H, and underneath that peak D, you have another D all the way down here. That's really weak action. So the, the uh, unchanged at 30.37. Oh, it's up seven cents, but it's it's gapped down again. Uh, it gaps. It, it always gaps because it trades overseas, but it's under the 200 period moving average of the weekly. So this is really not good for for China. Um, uh, right, and so that was the one question. Next question was Square. Uh, Square was once upon a time Block Inc. Oh, no, it is Block Inc. It was once a time uh, time Square. I love Square. Now I'm I'm not sure I'm used to even after all this time saying Block um, Financial Services and Digital Payment at a new recovery high. This is now leg C in the week, a monthly chart. Yes, I do like it, and this is one of those that I'm going to talk about tomorrow. What happens if you've missed the move? I've spoken about it. this. There are about five or six stocks that I've mentioned for since my webinar my, back in July. I just, as I'm preparing and finishing up my webinar for tomorrow, getting it ready, I'm, I'm looking at one of the pages. Thank goodness we, we implemented a lot of what I wanted because that's what the whole thing is about. Uh, but there are a couple of things we miss. Hack is one of them. Hack, uh, that is the cybersecurity. Look at that, all-time high as we're speaking. Now, what do you do? You've missed them. Do you get? How do you get in? Well, stocks that make all-time highs or indexes or whatever it is that makes all-time highs tend to stay that way for quite some time. And every time that particular sector is in favor, it'll continue to make high highs. So that's something. Don't be afraid of higher highs. What was I looking at today? Um, oh, did I write that down? That is exactly the chart, one of the great charts. Uh, let me just have a look here to see. Uh, was this it? Gee. Yes, uh, jets. This is U.S. global jets. I don't know how anybody can be saying the, the economy is terrible. Look, jets, the U.S. global uh, jets ETF, it made a, a recovery high. All-time high was back in the 28th or 29th area uh, back in 2021. It slumps down to the 15s. And lo and behold, right now it's at 24. This is a – and it's only a leg B. In the, and this is what I'm going to talk about on, on Thursday tomorrow. How do you – do we go into things like this at highs? Well, you can't be afraid if they're leading and the general trend is, con is still on the upside. So that's so. Let me go back to Square. I do like it very much. I'm upset that I, I've spoken about it for so long, but look, this was once. I think it was split, but once it was in the two nineties, right there, and here it comes down to the forties. I mean, I talk about cut. Uh, I mean, that is a horrible decline, and now it's just started the inverted head and shoulders pattern. I like it very much, um, and the questioner is. Looking more intermediate term, I believe. So I'm going to say 
Yeah, I, I think you're actually in it, and you just want your confirmation. But if you're not in it, start your position now. But I wouldn't go the, with, that, with a full position because 85 is the 200-period exponential moving average. I have a feeling that over the next week or two, it will test that. Well, three points is not a big deal when you're looking at something with the next major high of um, August of 2022. So over two years ago at, uh, let's see, 93.19. So even there, you've got five five or six points to the upside. Yeah, I like it very much. And the question is, is this an instant restart? Yes, it is. Is this a, and a continuation E or is it an A? It doesn't really matter because it is so strong. 88% stochastic, MACD is good. Next question came in. Could I look at, oh, 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 oh. Am I going to be able to get that back? Um yeah, HIMS, it's the one that we did have at some point, and then we got out of it. And I keep looking at it and thinking, oh, this is, look, this, I did the, all the work for subscribers, but we never got back in. Look, this is a chap wave cup and ladle breakout pattern in the weekly chart. This is leg B. This should still go to a leg D. It's a 30 point, wow, 30 point 12 right now. I mean, we were looking at it way back here in the single digits, uh, way back Oh, way back. Yeah, over there in this particular phase, right in 20, or maybe 24, maybe it was even 2023 in the single digits. And here it is much, much higher. And leg E in the weekly, uh, left side, right side price time match was perfect in the, um, it was perfect in the weekly chart and it's broken out. And that makes 25 really important near term support. And it's at 30.17 right now. And it's a leg E in the uh, monthly chart. Yes, I do like it very much. Congratulations, you held on. Uh, and um, A, B, this is a leg C, new leg C in the daily chart. I'll just do that so you can see what I'm doing. That was a peak G pullback. Did all the FIB stuff and then just broke. I said, FIB, shmib, I'm out of here. And what did it do? Hymns. So this is Hims and Hers Inc. Personal Healthcare uh, doing really well. A very healthy looking chart. Congratulations. Next thing we're going to look at here is okay. So I did that, did that, did that. Uh, RK RKLB. Another one that I did the analysis for. We had a call of our friend uh, from London or England. Uh, call, uh, email to ask about it way back. It was in the single digits, Rocket Lab USA. And here it is at 20.87, up six today, up 42%. Wow. <laughs> Great call, Rocket Lab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We're back. So just uh, some discussion at the end about uh, Bitcoin going to, uh, wow, 100,000. It's trading 2406 right now. Very strong. I've got this as a leg D. Stochastics at 95% and flat. That's great. On balance runs a little overboard. That says, oh, be careful. We could have a little bit of a pullback um, near term. The relative strength is very high. It's almost overboard, but it hasn't got there yet. And the MACD is expanding in the in the daily charts. The weekly chart, funny enough, because of the speed of this move from the uh, um, August the ninth, the week of the ninth, low in the 50,000 area. Uh, the MACD has crossed positive the 90s over the 14 in the weekly chart. The uh, where are we? stochastic is now at 87 percent, but on balance volume is is really way way down. So that gives you an opportunity to say that it hasn't got an overbought yet. So I I was going to I think I put it in some other one, but I didn't put it in here. This is a Chapman Wave cup, and another one of my patterns that I've developed over the years. Uh, it's where you go from the left side low, make a cup formation, and then break out. Usually it's in leg C. Sometimes it's in D. But it, what it says is there's a real good chance that this particular move has now got an up move, a buy mode designation, and that there should still be a D. And at any point, be prepared that you come back and test the left side. Look, well, that's down to the 75,000 well, area, 78,000. So this is a very strong move in Bitcoin. Um, <clears throat> so within that context, it'll be part of my discussion tomorrow. For those who didn't get into Bitcoin, uh, what can they look at? Uh, Basil, could I please look at the SOXS? SOXX. Are you sure that? Oh, SOXX. SOXX or is this SOXS? So, yeah, that is the short. Um, SOXX is the iShares semiconductor. This is the short, this is the long side. So, um, yeah, so let me just do this if you don't mind. I've got this notated and it'll look the same. This is the SMH. It actually doesn't look the same. The SOXS, because it's a multiple, I guess, is a little deeper in this arch formation. So in this particular instance, what we've got is the semiconductors. You see the green nine period moving average is really close to turning pink. So we've avoided this whole area. I have it down. I always have it in my the list of things that we watch. It's one of the few things we don't. We, I, I don't always have a position for uh, subscribers. Sometimes we're long, sometimes we're short. Other times we're just stepping aside because it's more informational. But I have been of the opinion that the SOX the semiconductor is lagging. Yes, you've got NVIDIA making an all-time high. 
uh, is right now it's within pennies of an all-time high or dollars of an all-time high. But I don't think that's uniform in all the different uh, semiconductors. So uh, short uh, short is SOXS. Yes, that's what I thought you made a mistake of because I think yesterday we looked at both of those. Um, so you wanted the SOXX. Yeah. And it's uh, along the uh, SMH. So that's why I'm going to the SMH now, right now. So, um, Steve, what I'm looking at here is I think that the semiconductors are underperforming. And you remember I said this on my webinar that's coming up is going to be about what's working, what's not working, what is just going sideways. And at this particular point, the FENEC semiconductor ETF is going sideways. So all I can say is that I see upside just sporadic spurts to the upside, but then basically I think it's going to be stuck between, oh, it could make, it could even make a new recovery high above 262, let's say 263 and 239. If it takes out 239, it says that over a period of a couple of weeks, it could go quickly to the 229, 200 period exponential moving average. But right now I just think it's stuck. And I think if I'm correct, you're the one that likes to trade the SOXS and the SOXX, I guess, intraday. And I think that that's a great thing to do because I think it's just stuck in a range. Um, July, is that A to B in August down? Okay, let me get that. So let me just go to this S. So XX is really what you're talking about. Yeah, so um, I'm looking, this is a dreaded A. So look what happened. This We go to the lowest low bar. And we put an up arrow because we can see historically looking at this has gone higher. So, okay. So there's your peak A. Remember, peak D is always our objective in a buy signal to buy mode. So A to B. A, A goes to peak B. A to B to, and C to D are two different things entirely. This is just alphabetizing higher peaks all the way through G. There's never an H. So that's C and there's your D. We're always looking for D. D is where other things can happen. And lo and behold, you're now in a down mode. So what I would do is this. I'd go to a key level of support, and I would draw in my cup formation. I'd do the left side, right side, price, time match. In this case, I'd go to the peak D right there, and that's green. On the way down, it would be pink or red, and this is over here. And what does it say? It says by the 18th of November, there's a chance that we could test the low that was made on the 31st of 216.56 and probably hit that 215 area. That would be the support. And let me just draw in a couple of other things. It doesn't have to do that. This is what I'm drawing in as one of the patterns that I follow very closely. We just had that uh, this morning. We had that yesterday in the E-minis. And let me just do this. And then I'd go from the left side peak of importance. That's one. that one there to this, and there it is. And that says your uh, Chapman Wave inside wedge support uh, support target line is right here. If in the next two days it takes that 217.57, that's a problem. So that's the semi I hope that helped you. Um, next thing is, okay, now where did I go? Oh, I didn't even look at this, sorry. YouTube uh, questions. Okay, turn that up. I don't believe my work using an ABC up with volume. I consider 282 to 288 area as a layup, meaning every var variable is there to hit the target except time. In your work, do you see IWM 280 target? Um, so baseball, I'm looking. Um, congratulations, super calls. Well, fortunately, we'd be on the right side, yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll have a break coming up in another minute or two. I'll do some work on the IWM. I actually know I've done it already. IWM. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. So this is the left side, right side price time match. So what I would do then is I would go to the high that was made at 224.46. I'd go to the same midpoint that I chose right there, it's that particular candle. If I can't see it as a very obvious low or high to make a, a move to the other side, then I have to choose a particular candle. 
And that's what I've done. So let me talk about this in a moment. I'll be back in a moment. We'll talk about left side, right side, symmetry in the markets when you get a cup or an arch formation. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. And the Dow is up 114. S&P is up too. I'll be right back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So the question came in from uh, Baseball in the uh, Tiger YouTube about when do I see the 282? Do I see or when do I see it? But first of all, look, this is my left side, right side price time match. I did the one. It worked perfectly to the uh, lower level right there. Uh, now we've got the one from 244.46 in November of 2021 and the IWM, Russell 2000, small caps. And it says in this month, uh, November, uh, this November, we should hit 244.46. I'll go from there one step at a time because I can only a close above 244.46 says to me, now I can start looking at new levels. Remember, I like to go one step back in my mind. I might have any number, but in the foreground is what I look at in reality. And that's that's really important. So with that said, now I'm, uh, let me just say that um, 
yeah, there are a lot of stocks that are still only just beginning their participation in this particular phase. But I'm anticipating that going into the Thanksgiving week, probably later next week or maybe even the beginning of the following week, that's where I'm going to be really careful because if we get, if this is an A and we get to a B and a C and a D, meaning higher peaks alphabetized sequentially, that's when I'm going to be looking at it and saying, okay, really good chance we've become very overboard. Right now, I believe that the, the sell-off yesterday was the opportunity we were looking for. Uh, hopefully, it goes into tomorrow for when I do my webinar to be able to do some buying uh, in areas that were uh, weak just over the last two days because they've been strong up until now. I want to be buying areas that are showing um, relative strength in relation to the key areas. And that's really, but the other areas I don't, I'm just gonna ignore like semiconductors. I don't have to be in any of the semiconductors right now. They're not participating. Check out the front page of TFN. Oh, I didn't even show it, but that's where I'm going to be doing my, I'll be doing tomorrow at four o'clock, my webinar. Um, and that's going to be about sectors. It's called sectors and stocks for the next market phase, which we've actually already begun. And uh, you just need to be there if you want to have a chance at least to be able to